Uh, we are gonna be speeding up to about 55 miles an hour. This is a test of the round belt system that uh, causes an accident here. This is a very dangerous location. Um, it kind of sneaks up on you even for a regular driver, but you still as a human can see it. FSD has not stopped one time in this roundabout. I had to take over last minute when I first um, saw this roundabout the other day. Uh, you can clearly see the signs coming up. If you're not paying attention, uh, like FSD is 50 miles an hour, like I have to slow down. This is how long it's taken me to slow down. I'm slamming, practically standing on the brakes. It's not stopping at all for this roundabout. This is a very dangerous intersection for FSD. And uh, this has been an issue with FSD 1236, 1243, and now 1254 that I'm testing it out. I'm gonna go up to 55 miles an hour. That's the speed limit here. Okay, we're on FSD, 52 miles an hour in a 55 zone. Uh, we're approaching this roundabout. Take a look at this uh, on the outside camera. Again, you, you can see the signs are there. You got the warning signs. You got the flags letting you know that there's situations coming up. You got the construction cones that are in, in the area. It's very, very uh, if you're not paying attention as a human driver, you can definitely uh, screw this up. But here we go. I'm putting my foot near the accelerator because I'm going to have to slam on the brakes here. Still going 54 and a 55. Roundabout, not even slowing down. I can't, I, can't, I, have, to, I have to slam on the brakes right here. I, that's how close it is. It won't even slow down. I'm not going to attempt to let it go any, any further. I'm going to keep my foot here near the accelerator because this has not stopped. Doesn't make an attempt to slow down. We're in a 55 mile an hour zone coming up on this roundabout here. This snuck up on me when I was driving here from Georgia. Almost flew off the median. Here we go. It's not slowing down. It's not even slowing. It's fuck. It's not even slowing down. Okay, another attempt. Uh, I went back a little further this time. Let's get this up to 55 miles an hour, which is the speed limit here. I really want you to pay attention to the speed, how fast it's going to take me to slow down or how long it takes me to slow down. I'm gonna have to slam on my brakes. Uh, again, I'm giving you notice, I'm gonna keep my foot near the accelerator because this thing doesn't stop and I don't want to get into an accident. So I'm gonna have to slam on the brakes at some point. I'm not pressing on the accelerator. You would get a message here. Uh, while it's on autopilot FSD, you'll get a message saying that uh, FSD can't slow down because uh, the foot's on the accelerator or being pressed. So here we go. Uh, we're at 56 miles an hour. Here comes the roundabout. Pay attention to the speed. Here, here we go. Okay, it's dropped down to 54. It's not slowing down though. 53, 52, 51. Uh, it's, I, I got it. I'm like skidding. We are less than a few days away from the Robo Taxi event. Today is what, October uh, 8th, two days away from the Rebel Taxi 1010 event. And this is the kind of shit that's still out there on FSD autopilot that's not fixed all over the United States. Now you got people like Omar driving in his geofence location of San Francisco, uh, where that, that city's been perfected over and over and over again with FSD. Then you got the rest of the United States, right? I've, I've driven now cross country. I put 7,500 miles in the last uh, month and a half or so since August. I started driving from Washington State to Georgia, over to New Jersey, down over to Chicago, back down to Missouri, and then over back to Washington. And I've, I've been through the different states. I've been through the different terrain, the different construction zones, um, the temporary, the permanent construction, the new roads that are being built. FSD does a decent job through a lot of it but it screws up dangerously a small percentage of it. And that small percentage is the percentage that's gonna get you into an accident like you just saw. We are on hardware three, pay attention to our speed, set to auto max. And we'll do this a couple of more times from that further distance to see if it'll actually slow down. Yeah, so I, I've tried this uh, 
in the previous versions with uh, daylight, nighttime, same thing. No, no real um, update on this. No, no, no improvement. No progress. Let's see. Slowing down to 57. I'm gonna keep my foot here by the brake. 56. 55. There's cars coming. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, it's not. I'm sorry. I can't risk it. That's that's insane for it to go that fast. I'm gonna let this just go by itself this time. I'm gonna let this get to the speed limit of 55. I'm not gonna accelerate it manually. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. We're, we're pretty far away. So on its own, it's accelerated up to 56 miles an hour. Let's see what it does. But you know, overall, I, I do want to. Uh, you know, if you're if you're watching this and you're thinking I I hate Tesla, I don't. I love my car. I don't like the fact that it's that this software, this FSD software, is being presented like it's such a safe feature. Your car will will perform safely with or without FSD. I've had times where the car slammed on its brakes when I was just driving to prevent an accident. So the car is very safe but FSD, full self-driving, is not. And when I say it's not, it's because that 5% of the time where it does something stupid is the 5% is gonna get into an accident. Here we go. Uh, 51, I mean, it's not even slowing. It's not even slowing down, man. I, I even let it uh, accelerate on its own this time without me doing any manual uh, adjustments on it. You know, I, I tell Omar, try going, try driving around the rest of the world, the rest of the United States with FSD. It's not that perfect. It is very impressive. The software, I, I, I mean, it's it's gonna, I think it's gonna hopefully get there. I don't know, these, these last 12.5X uh, updates that I've gotten, the regression on this has been horrible. 12.4.3 has been such an, an amazing improvement from 12.3.6 when I got that. And then I get 12.5.1.5, horrible. Two accidents almost in, in, in the first few days. Then I get 12.5.4, nothing about it is better. Phantom braking constantly this kind of stuff constantly veering back into oncoming traffic constantly nothing about 12.5x has been an improvement yet i hear omar saying how beautiful it is how amazing it is on on both hardware three and hardware four cars and then i'm getting people that are commenting how horrible it is it's not just me here we go um i'm gonna give this as much as i can it's yeah guy i okay, i'm slamming on my brakes like it's it's literally slamming on its brakes like i'm skidding that's how fast it was going Nothing about this software has improved. Nothing. All right, this is gonna be the uh, final test. And look, so just to summarize this in a nutshell, I don't have a problem with FSD. I have a problem with the way it's being marketed. Come on. Because you got you got clowns like this, the surfing surgeon who uh, knows that this is a supervised software, but doesn't appreciate the fact that he needs to uh, uh, take the responsibility of uh, of uh, performing it, performing his uh, drive as like a supervised software. He had a video or a picture taken where his legs were crossed, sitting in Indian style in, his, in the in the driver's seat, going 80 miles an hour on a cyber in a cyber truck. Imagine if he was in a situation like this, where he doesn't know it's not going to come to a stop. And now he's sitting Indian style because he's showing off that FSD's driving and now he's gonna to have to come to a stop like this, but he can't because his feet are tangled up Indian style. He's not gonna be able to get to the brake fast enough, which is gonna cause him to get into an accident, potentially kill somebody in that Cybertruck. Look at this, look at this, it's not, look at this. I, I, that's how much I have to, I'm slamming on my brakes without skidding. That's how much I have to slam on the brakes to get this to come to a stop. If Omar were to change his tactic, if he, for example, were to say, hey guys, just to let you know, my city, I'm, I'm, it's working great in my city. I had my um, navigation turned on. If he were to say, hey guys, don't let this be a representation like it's like this the rest of the United States, because I don't know. If he were transparent and if he were to acknowledge the fact that, hey, it doesn't perform this way everywhere else, instead of just putting his videos out that says, oh, my drive's perfect, my drive's perfect, my drive's perfect, look at that. It took me to the restaurant. It took me to Dan O'Dowell's place where I peed on his, uh, on his uh, parking spot sign. 
I mean, Jesus, man. Sorry. It's like... That's that's the issue that I have with Omar. His his misrepresentation of this software is going to cause people like this uh, surfing cyber surgeon to do stupid things. There's a very good chance that they could try to replicate what he's doing in a town that FSD is not perfected. What what is that going to lead to? Potential accident, maybe even death. 